okay hello uh, welcome to another video about data science with julia so today i think we'll be doing something abstract like uh, we'll be doing uh, a thing like okay like uh, developing a dictionary library so where we'll add two dictionaries multiply them subtract and all those stuff so uh, okay yeah anyway let me tell you why okay so okay so i am trying to okay convert text into what to say a kind of numeric representation like where like uh, i'm i just want to count like okay a text appears to how much quantity okay so so i i'm just borrowing a idea from vector uh, i think it's called vector calculus or vector analysis or something like that and i want to do something similar uh, using dictionary because like okay in dictionary i can even see the words and i can see the frequency and all those stuff but today we won't be seeing this okay like possibly because we'll run out of time and i just want to keep my video short uh we'll be looking at how we uh wrote uh what to say uh this thing building a dictionary library okay so it might look a little bit abstract but possibly in the next uh, what to say few videos you will understand what i'm doing and all those stuff so even if it's abstract yeah please bear and uh, what to say like uh, uh yeah you uh, this is like a penance uh, you need to what to say uh learn to look at some things that are boring in order to understand it okay so that's the thing okay so yeah uh, let's dive in and uh, let me just try to explain as better as possible and yeah and i'm open to comments like you can explain you could have explained to me like this and like that and all this stuff so uh, we just have two dictionaries dict a and dict b so in a you just have like a is one b is two and in b you have a is three and c is four so what do you expect if you add these two things okay so i expect a to be added together so it becomes four right uh b is not in uh dict b so like i expect it to be two plus zero two okay and similarly c is not in dictate so i expect it to be zero plus four that is four right so that's how i want to be so i just wrote a function so like let me just uh, explain it to you so all keys what it does is like it takes keys of first dictionary so in this case a so it takes a and b okay so and then it takes keys of second dictionary okay once again it's a and c okay so now it does the union so this is a set operator so the duplicate a's get cancelled out so it will be like a b c so those are all the keys so that's how it is i didn't use a word called key or keys because i i think it's uh, it's a some kind of keyword in internal keyword in julia and it was giving some error okay so and uh, and this is the output dictionary we need to build okay so so what i just do is for key for each and every key in all keys that is for each and every a b and c so what i'm just doing is output of key is like okay get the uh, value of uh, the like dict a of a and if it's if there is no value return zero similarly i'm doing it for dict b so dict b will come in a second dictionary so we are using like okay we are making sure like okay we do pass only dictionary type inside right so but of course the dictionary can hold anything but the thing is like yeah we are not enforcing it more so but yeah i think this should suffice okay so that's the thing and uh, so yeah uh, and then we are just building this output where we take each and every key in both dictionaries and just add it and build output and give it so that's what we are just getting okay so similarly uh, the, there is this multiply okay so like uh, so instead of plus i'm just putting star similarly i think uh, okay uh, there are two kind of multiplications if you think like vectors and all those things but over here all i'm just doing is only element wise multiplication that's it like i don't want to go into that vector kind of thing this is not a vector mathematics and all those stuff this is something with dictionary which i want to do which i feel will help me in future for numer uh, what to say for natural language processing okay so that's what i'm just doing so so yeah so we are just doing so what happens is okay uh, a is there so b is not there so this b will get multiplied with zero and it will become zero and definitely c is not there so c will also become zero but a will get multiplied okay one and one and three and it will become three okay so and this i'm just putting inverse inverse means don't think like okay this is like convert, somewhat like an inverse matrix where you will get identity thing when you do and all those stuff no no 
that's not at all that okay so what you get here is like okay like uh, what to say like uh, uh, you just uh, take the keys in a dictionary and you just do one by key okay so possibly if you multiply this and the dictionary you'll get everything one 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 but i don't think like okay there is that's uh, identity vector or something like that i'm not sure so that's it so inverses we are just inverting each and every element okay so that's the thing so if i do inverse means yeah what will happen is over here like yeah one by one is one that's what we are getting and one by two is 0.5 so that's what we are just getting over here so one and 0.5 right so that's the thing and divide yeah i'm just doing this okay uh divide i had other ideas but the thing is like i had like okay why can't i uh, define divide as okay multiply uh what to say oh first dictionary and then uh and then what to say inverse of second dictionary okay so i had that kind of idea but the thing is yeah i didn't work out like uh, some values went missing i want all values to be there for some reason okay so maybe i could be wrong and all those stuff okay so uh next is magnitude magnitude i just this i just borrowed from uh what to say vector okay so like okay like uh, magnitude of a vector magnitude of a vector you see like it is like you take all values in a vector uh square it take square root of it and that's the magnitude of a vector okay so uh do we have a wikipedia article because i just want to show only free articles like i don't want all those uh okay so but anyway like i think uh wiki how is there okay so okay yeah this is magnitude of a vector maybe yeah i'll just put it okay so this is how it is like this has two values you square it and take square root of it so what i'm just doing here is okay like uh taking all the values of dictionary squaring it so this is element wise squaring okay so that's why you put the dot and then uh square of two okay and then what i'm just doing is some summing up the squares so the summing up the squares is represented by plus so here and then i'm just taking the square root of it okay so that's the thing right so if i do okay a3 and b4 okay why i'm just doing this is because like this is like uh uh what is a pythagorean triplets okay so if you put three square four square and take square root it'll become five right so that's the thing okay so uh that's the thing if you don't know about pythagorean tri triplets please go and Pythagorean triplets. Okay. Maybe I should also do all these videos like where we solve math uh, uh, problem uh, with Julia and all those stuff, right? So yeah, this one has a very good thing. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Right. Okay. Fine. <laughs> so yeah. So like yeah. Do uh, yeah. Maybe I'll just put all these. Uh, links and all those stuff okay so that's the thing okay so that's the thing so that's how uh, what to say this thing goes magnitude goes and multiply i am just doing this okay this multiply is different okay so if i want to multiply a by seven okay what is a okay uh, a is one okay a in a in dictionary a that is in dictionary a, a is one and b so if i want to multiply by seven this is a scalar multiplication but yeah even if you multiply it by b it will only do element multiplication so don't think even think this is a vector multiplication possibly i must start documenting like ml library and dict library so that like people will understand yeah documentation uh writing documentation we'll cover in another video i think it's very very important in software and many people are missing it these days saying that okay just by naming functions they are just making it understandable like i have uh gone through many software where functions were being named very appropriately but the developer understood one thing i understood another thing i understood one thing in my functions but uh that was rejected because others understood some other things so i still feel the old java way where uh, when i used to code where we document functions and whenever we even selected the functions we just have a very good documentation that should be there okay but i haven't done it okay uh, i am a sinner and according to software engineering i am a sinner i should fix it and i will fix it okay maybe we'll even have a video about documenting okay how to document it properly and don't think like just because you're a data scientist or something like that you can es escape documentation what is data science okay so data science is nothing but like mathematics okay so computers can do fast math fast and you just have a lot of data so you just try to 
uh, apply mathematics on this lot of data and try to see whether you can find find out something so that is data science right this manage of data with computer science because computer science can do math okay so just don't think that okay just because of that you shouldn't document computer science is part of data science and uh, you need to know how to write better software okay so that's the thing so where was i okay right so yeah uh okay yeah i think i was explaining this inverse okay so this is uh okay yeah so i, I think i was just explaining this inverse so i think you understand it so the output is just one by each and every element so that's the thing and this multiplication if i okay this multiplication yeah sorry i was i think uh okay, okay where is that okay sorry i was explaining this one I think. okay so yeah so so this multiplication yeah i was explaining it by multiplying by a number okay so i'm sorry so i, I just lost my way so yeah so <laughs> this means it's just element wise multiplication and i was just telling like okay don't confuse it vector multiplication when i did multiplication uh, dictionary with a dictionary okay so please don't confuse with vector multiplication so that's the text, right so especially those who are reading electromagnetic field theories and all those stuff right so no <laughs> right don't confuse with that okay so divide yeah uh, so my divide is what multiplication just one by number so that's what i'm just doing over here so i hope you understand it and yeah this is the thing i'm just dividing a by five and i hope this is understandable to you people by now okay so that's the thing and unit dictionary what i'm just doing is like i'm just taking the magnitude okay uh what is a unit vector okay so unit vector okay so what is it unit vector okay so unit vector is a vector that's always on this unit circle okay so that's the thing right its magnitude is always on the unit circle oh my god i just hate the spam and this uh okay right in fact i didn't put ads in my uh or to say this one and i just removed it okay like let me die as a beggar i don't care though. so i need to block all these things of course this video is not being sponsored by ad nauseum but it's very very what to say good software so just created an ad blocker so hopefully i can just load it now so yeah hopefully nothing happens yeah that ad has gone away right okay so uh Oh god, oh god, oh god, I need to block this one too, right, preview, create, okay, so now let me just reload and see, okay, yeah, now I've just taken out the ads, yeah, of course, this is not <laughs> sponsored by ad nauseum, uh, or uh, it's ad blocker thing, and very excellent thing, and I don't know, I think it's blocking too much, yeah, I'm losing my scroll bar, okay, so that's the thing, but uh isn't there a good formula okay. oh, God, oh, God, oh God. i just screwed up okay yeah a vector by vectors magnitude okay so right so that's the thing so vector divided by vector magnitude okay the vector magnitude is a scalar okay so that's what i'm just doing i won't put this link because this site uh by juice seems to be some spam stuff yeah wikipedia god no advertisement solution so yeah i'll put this link yeah so <laughs> that's the thing so yeah so that's the thing uh, uh th i just want to do something uh what to say a uh, unit uh multiplication so that's the thing so like uh so yeah this is the unit vector a dictionary divided by its magnitude so i think we have the formula sorry uh, not a dictionary like a vector divided by its magnitude but of course we are in in this thing we are treating this thing like a uh, what to say a vector at least the values we are little bit treating it like a vector so okay okay, okay right um yeah actually it is this one this is actually the magnitude the modulus of u this is actually a magnitude for this more this mod u is actually magnitude and the u is the vector so that's how it is the magnitude is root of yeah whatever we have spoken over here right so that's the thing so yeah so hopefully yeah, in my book i think I'll, i i can give a better explanation or something like that and uh, yeah so that's the thing and yeah fine so that's how it is and next is this is very important dot product okay so uh, this is the first dictionary and second dictionary. I hope you people know about vector dot product or else no like that. 
vector dot product you just multiply each and every element of a vector and then uh, why wikipedia isn't bubbling at the top i am not sure uh okay so ideally what a dot product is is okay possibly this this is why it, it hasn't got very good explanations in wikipedia and it's a bit confusing okay so you you've got like all these elements right uh n elements over here n elements over here right and you multiply each and every element and uh, what to say you just take the summation of all the multiply okay so a1 b1 plus a2 b2 and that's actually a dot product okay so that's what you need to do so that's what we are also doing over here so yeah so that's how it is so if you just do dot product of a and b so what's uh, let's see what is a and b okay the b is zero c is zero so that will just cancel out uh and a is when multiplied it will become like one into three three so the sum is three okay so now the dot product of a with itself okay so what it will be right so the dot product of a with itself will be um okay one into one is one plus two into two is four that is five okay so that's how it will be so yeah that's how it is so maybe yeah i will uh, even uh, go into another thing no yeah it's kind of time like i just want to keep this video short in next thing okay so we will take a text and we will convert this into a unit vector okay and i don't want to stop with that in next video we will also take some other text and compare the similarity so how we will see how the libraries we have developed uh, have uh, are helping us to find similarities between two given texts according to us till now okay text is totally human and uh, how to say it's not at all uh, a thing that computers can understand but look we are converting that into numbers and so text can be could be understood by computers and then they they can compare at least similarities okay so it might be yeah a bit baffling to you now but yeah but uh, please wait for the next video where i'll just explain this one and i'll also put links of all these files so that like uh, at least this this one like uh, not computing word properties converting text to this unit vector and if you can dig into the repo you can get all these files like uh, in this ml lib and i'm just doing uh, sorry sorry in this folder lib i'm just putting like this dig, dig clip uh, so in that if you see you'll see the condensed form of this on this one like uh, what to say building dictionary library okay and one thing I just forgot, I just forgot about subtract, okay, so I just don't know, okay, what is the spelling of subtract? See this, subtract? S-U-B-T-R-A-C-T, okay, S-U-B-T-R-A-C-T, okay. We will do a thing called subtract, okay, so, function, uh, okay, S-U-B-T, did I already do subtract? No. Add, multiply, inverse, okay, or let me see over here. And multiply, okay, this is a scalar multiplication, inverse, divide, magnitude. Uh, divide, okay, this is a scalar division, right? Uh, but yeah, uh, okay, don't think this is a vector division, okay? This is kind of a dictionary, dictionary division, okay? Right? And then, yeah, unit dot, yeah, we didn't do subtract, okay? So we'll do subtract over here. So let me just build it and show you so as you let me just copy this spell ah why it's difficult to, why it is difficult to copy in search engines yeah s u b t r a c t okay then uh, first dictionary and we have dict and then second dictionary yes, -T -T -I -O -N -E -R -Y, and we just have it as dict okay so i'm just writing to show you just to show you how i wrote it okay so first dictionary dict second dictionary dict okay so i just want to reuse the function so here so what is subtraction subtraction is nothing but addition okay so addition of okay uh, first dictionary 
okay and what we are just doing is like okay uh multiplying okay like uh, okay multiply is a function right uh second dictionary with minus one right so that's what we are just doing okay so uh that's what we're just doing right so that's the thing so hopefully it just works okay so let me just put okay subtract okay Dict A with dict A. Yeah, zero zero seems to work. And let me just copy it, put it over here, dict A with dict B, right? Yeah. We are just getting it. Fine. Yeah. B is to yeah, fine. A has B and uh that is symbol B and B doesn't have symbol B. And you might be thinking, why I'm using symbols instead of strings? Yeah, I just like it. I, I'm from Ruby background, so I use them, so that's the thing, right? So uh, you can use strings, not at all a problem, right? And that too, when you're starting out, yeah, you're learning and all, yeah, you can use strings, okay? So let's put this subtract in our library and I'll commit it and what to say. Uh, I will put all these links in the video description, right? So that's it. I think we need to build a mega library uh, where we can, uh, where we include or let us keep it separate itself so that we can just include what that's needed okay so that's it. yeah let me keep it separate for now but let's see how the future unfolds right so yeah anyway uh thanks for watching um let's uh uh see in the next video